BBOR Black Box Online Radio coming to you from West Virginia. Black Box Ned 88 on Instagram for the bonus podcast. And welcome to BBOR, the home of True Crime Talk Radio and your premier destination for unsolved mysteries, criminal psychology, and exploring the dark side of cyberspace. My name is Ned DeHaan, and I am your host as well as the creator of Astro Psych 400 here on YouTube, and regular contributor to the Zodiac Killer channel. And a great way to support these shows is just by listening to some more content. But you can also go over to Amazon.com and have a look at the book Killer on a White Horse, written by me, Ned Dahan. It is a novel, murder mystery, inspired by the Zodiac Manson connection, but it is indeed fictional. However, who doesn't love a good mystery? And there is always the Teespring page. Feel free to check out some of the merchandise. And remember, being weird is not a crime. Let the show begin. Okay, hello everybody. Today is Friday, and this week's Anything Goes Friday segment is available on Stuart McAdams' channel. Stuart McAdams, and I'm going to post a link to that. If you look down in the comment section, you'll see that the first comment pinned on the top is a link over to his channel. And we talked about what it's like starting a YouTube channel, and also some of the transitions from the earlier days of Black Box Online Radio, when there was just a black box on the screen, and then moving into the more image-based format for this show. So I invite you guys to have a listen. You can always like and subscribe over on Stuart's channel. He has a lot of things out for people who are very curious about uh, the internet marketing scene or the creation of a page and trying to launch a new channel or a new idea in the internet world. Lots of good stuff over there. Now, there are some things, although, that we didn't get to expand upon too much. And he asked a question about was I influenced by other radio hosts to start Black Box Online Radio? And one point that I did want to share was, I know that I'm not a perfect broadcaster. And when I would listen to famous radio hosts, I'm sure you're thinking of some names coming to mind, they would just talk with this super clear, pitch-perfect enunciation, and they would um, not make any mistakes. I really noticed that, that they didn't have any, like, um, um, they, you didn't hear any noise at all. There wasn't, there were no stutters. And the... When people go to broadcasting school, and I've never been, but it's my understanding that they get like a diction coach or they practice that a lot. But I was listening to a program called World Crisis Radio back in 2017, and I followed it for years actually all the way um, into 2021. But I was listening to World Crisis Radio, which was hosted by Webster Tarpley, and he is not a trained broadcaster. He's a historian who talks about not only um, history, but also conspiracy theories and even sometimes like getting into the political world. That's mostly what his show was about, like a combination of those three things. But he was not a trained broadcaster, so he would be fumbling around with papers and he would be like, oh, OK, uh, let's see what's next. And you could tell that he's um, not as perfect as some of the other more famous radio hosts out there. And I realized that, okay, I can do this. I may not sound like, you know, someone who has that perfectly clear voice who never makes a single mistake, who, I mean, I'm, I can do this. Like, I could really do this. And that was a motivation to keep going and to um, just to tr keep trying to do the free-flowing talking about anything under the sun or in the darkness. And, I mean... Stewart has shared a lot of things, though, in the interview that I think of people might be curious about, and I'm really just surprised that um, Black Box Online Radio is where it's at today. I mean, when I first started putting out the episodes, I talked about this in the interview, there was um, a very small following, and I really wasn't sure what exactly was going to happen. I mean, I had always wanted to do a longer, like in, in a bigger true crime show, but I wasn't sure how to go about it, so I just tried on Black Box Online Radio, and some things connected with you guys in the comments section, I mean, like you guys in the audience, and people left their feedback in the comments section, I should say, 
And then my final note to you is, if you do listen to this interview with Stuart McAdam, I mean, Stuart is interviewing me, if you listen to the interview on his channel, I invite you and request that you put on the closed captions, because I think the voice levels are a little bit different, and I found that as soon as I turned on the closed captions, then everything seemed much easier to follow, and it was definitely easier to pay attention to the different voices. I mean, that was uh, my personal take on the subject. I often um, invite people to use the um, closed captions and request they do this for the older Black Box episodes, because some people say they don't like a still image on the screen, and um, they just need a little bit of movement. I, I mean, I do this all the time. If I'm listening to a YouTube channel that has only a video, all, like it has only a still image, I turn on the closed captions. But that's just me over on Stuart McAdams' channel. There's an interview with me for the Anything Goes Friday segment, and until next time.